This is the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for Monday, the 9th of July. Midsummer time and heat levels coming down this week. Rain chances going up. Sounds pretty good. We'll check the uh, Skycam shots early this morning at the somewhat ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock. Who would be awake that early on a summer morning? Uh, me and maybe you. Uh, that's the uh, downtown Jasper Sky Cam. The sky is mostly fair. Go down south, that's a look at the uh, Chilton County camera in downtown Clanton. And way down south, that's our Sky Cam at Daphne on the eastern shore of Mobile Bay. All right, you can see the pattern change. Ridge in the west, trough in the east. That's uh, breaking the heat wave for much of the eastern states that have been baking over the last couple of weeks. And a surface boundary is also in association with that north of us. That thing will be drifting down into Tennessee uh, over the next 24 hours and stalling out there. And that uh, should mean a pretty beneficial rain setup for us this week. Uh, one you don't see that often without a tropical storm or hurricane involved. Those are highs yesterday. Again, uh, Raleigh-Durham was baking. I think they hit 105 yesterday up in North Carolina. But they will have a big break with uh, rain and cooler air coming in this week. And the big numbers are shifting out west. Look at uh, Idaho. You see 102 out there. That's where the really hot weather is going to be all week long while we see our heat levels coming down. Severe weather potentially today over the Carolinas and Virginia. Could be some big storms up in there with that push of cooler air. And around here, uh, no formal risk, but there could be a few strong storms. That'll be the case tomorrow. The 5% probabilities and the same thing on Wednesday. And uh, summer storms that are strong to severe are the pulse storms, not really the organized storms in most cases, where uh, small hail and strong gusty winds will be the main threat. But this is the map everybody likes to see. Hey, is this July? You just don't see that that often unless you've got a tropical system involved. Uh, this is suggesting rains of three to three and a half inches over much of North Alabama between now and Friday evening at 7 o'clock. And up in North Carolina, 6.8 inches. That'll douse that heat wave up there. That sounds pretty good. And the tropics are just very quiet. Again, you know, we had the active start, and some people were concerned it was going to be a really busy season. But with the uh, developing El Nino, cooler water in the deep Atlantic basin out there in the eastern Atlantic, and a lot of dry air, we figure it just might not be a really active season. But, of course, the core is still yet to come. That'll be in August and September. All right, let's check the modeling. This is the OZGFS, the Global Forecast System, at 1 o'clock this afternoon. And we've got the trough in the east, ridge in the west, 594 ring. That's the center of the heat, centered uh, over Arizona, Nevada, Utah, and they can have it. And around here, you know, trying to tell you exactly when and where it's going to rain, we can't do that in the summer. It's just impossible. But generally speaking, there should be some decent convection later today. And tomorrow, maybe a higher coverage as the uh, front gets closer to the north. And models are all over the board on highs. The, the NAM tomorrow is at 86. The GFS is still showing 93. But all models on Wednesday are only in the 80s with a, a pretty good chance of showers and storms. Thursday, you can see we stay in a very moist air mass. And that could be our best coverage of rain this week is on Wednesday and Thursday. And Friday... Showers might be thinning out a little bit as the heights are rising slightly. The high should be close to 90. And as we start the weekend, we've got ridging over much of the nation, but there's a weakness in the ridge a little west of here and still a very soupy air mass. So as we kick off the weekend, that would suggest we'll be dodging the scattered showers and storms with the sun out at times. Same thing Sunday and same thing a week from today. No evidence of any runaway heat. Uh, in fact, temperatures should be below average over the next seven days, and that sounds fantastic. We'll check the end of the forecast, July 24th, pretty much the same deal, ridging over much of the nation, but the higher heights are way west of here, over uh, Colorado and Wyoming and Utah, and again, sufficient moisture for at least scattered showers and storms. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 3.30 or so, uh, so today. And don't forget to catch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.